chance to win $1 million. All they have to do is prove that they are smarter than a fifth grader. It is that easy. And here is my class, Marky. Students? Yeah. Uh, actually, I should say our two new students. That's crazy. This is a fifth grader first. We actually have two new classmates playing as a team because they are identical twins. <laughs> and they say two heads are better than one. Let's find out. Our new students both graduated from E.J. Marshall Elementary. One is a workman's cop adjuster. The other one's a construction worker. Welcome, Chad and Corey nice Baumgart. How are you? Welcome good. to the show. Thank you. Hi, Corey. How you doing? Good. Good. How are you? <laughs> so, so I'm guessing this is a photo from when you were attending E.J. Marshall? Yeah. Yes, sir. We're embarrassed about it, but that's it. Which, which one is which? I'm the handsome devil on the right. Ah. I guess that makes me the ugly one on the left. Yeah. <laughs> now, they say with identical twins, sometimes you can, like, know what the other one's thinking, feel it. Do you right, guys have Right, we have, have uh, what we like to call twin tuition. So twin it's tuition. like, if he's yeah. upset, I'm upset. If he's mad, well, guess what? I'm mad, too. Really? Yeah. Right. So, do you always, like, have your arms around each other? Well, it... yeah, I, I love it. He's yeah. my best friend. I love this guy. All right, guys. Well, these are your new classmates. They're going to be taking the same test that you're taking, and we're actually going to let you cheat off of them. So pick one of them. Let's get started. Kyle! 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 Come on, Kyle! All right! All right. Here's how this is going to work. you got to agree on the same sure. answer. No problem. Lock in as one. Okay. Let me tell you how the game works. On the board, we're going to give you ten subjects. They range from first grade through the fifth grade. Your first correct answer as a team is worth $1,000. The 10th question, should you get it right, is worth $500,000. Once we ace this test, we will give you an additional grade school question that will be worth $1 million. Now, guys, if at any point, the test gets to be too difficult. You can drop out of school, okay? okay? You can take the money that you've acquired, you can run, but before you go, you have to both promise me that both of you will look into that camera and say to the world, we are not smarter than a fifth grader. That's a deal. We got a deal? Yes, sir. All right, let's find out. Are Chad and Corey Baumgartner smarter than a fifth grader? All right, gentlemen. There's your 10 subjects. Pick your poison and let's go for $1,000. Uh, I say we go slow. Yeah, I agree. Uh, first grade spelling, then. Yep. First grade spelling. All right. For $1,000, here is the question. The names of how many days of the week do not start with either the letter T or S? The names of how many days of the week do not start with either the letter T or S. Your classmate, Kyle, has locked in his answer. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Three. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Three. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll go with three. 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 You said Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday Friday. Friday. You're absolutely right. You yeah. got yeah. 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 All right, guys. Five, See how easy this is? Oh, we're loving it. You got a thousand. Okay. Let's turn it into two thousand. Let's turn it in. Take another second. Yeah. Let's go with uh, first grade geography. First yeah. grade geography. Yeah. yeah. Seems to be a little strategy here. Yeah. yeah. All right, gentlemen, the $2,000 question is, true or false, including Alaska and Hawaii, there are more U.S. states that border the Pacific Ocean than the Atlantic Ocean. True or false, including Alaska and Hawaii, 
There are more U.S. states that border the Pacific Ocean than the Atlantic Ocean. Kyle has just locked in yeah, he his did. answer. That was quick, he did. too. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What do you think? What you buddy? thinking, guys? Are you trying well, to see that big map, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, well, it's including Alaska and Hawaii. Okay. So. Yeah, including Alaska and Hawaii. There are more U.S. states that border the Pacific Ocean than the Atlantic. True or false? Good thing is it's 50-50. Right. Let me remind you. Yeah. Let me remind you how your classmates can help you. You have two cheats. You got a peek and a copy. Uh -huh. A peek means you can peek at your classmates' paper, decide if you want to use their answer or not. Okay. Copy means you have to take the answer they've written down. And you have a save, which means if you guys answer incorrectly, but your classmate at the podium has the right answer, you get the money, we keep rolling on down the highway. True or false, 50-50 yeah. shot. We're trying to picture that map. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, or you could walk away right now with $1,000. Oh, no, we're broke. We're going for the gusto. <laughs> yeah. There's two of us here. 1000 won't go far. Uh, what do you think, buddy? I'm thinking false. Yeah, I'm thinking false, too. You want to go with false? Yeah, go with false. All right, uh, we're going with false. False. The Pacific Ocean borders five states. Washington, Oregon, California, Alaska, and Hawaii. The Atlantic Ocean borders 18 states. Yeah! Absolutely right. You got $2,000. Oh, good job. Twin up. Yeah. You touched your thumbs. What is that? Uh, we call it twin up. Uh, this is how we power up. I know you guys are like, we have read. This is how we power up, believe it or not. On I a daily to... basis, we have to touch each other, call each other. You know, we have to see each other on a daily basis. So, so we, yeah. Yeah, I... I love them. What do you want yeah. me to do? $2,000. Good job, thank Kyle. You, thank Thanks, you, buddy. Kyle. All right, well, they can only help you two questions at a time, so time to pick another classmate. Go ahead, you pick whatever you want. Alana. Alana. Alana, come on up here. Come on, Alana. Have you ever met identical twins before? Mm, no. No. Okay. All right. But I want to meet the Olsen twins. Oh, you want to meet the Olsen twins? Yeah. So do we. So man. do we. Yeah. We're waiting on that. Yeah. <laughs> so we have something in common. <laughs> Somehow I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> you got $2,000. We're about to play for five. First great questions are out of the way. Pick another subject. Yeah. Um, let's go, what do you think, second grade vocabulary? Let's work our way up. Second grade vocabulary. Second grade vocabulary. For $5,000. Chad and Corey, here's the question. What word can mean both an instrument used to draw circles and also a device used for determining direction? What word can mean both an instrument used to draw circles and also a device used for determining direction? Alana has locked in before I could complete wow. it. And I'm glad we picked her. Uh, it's a word that has a twin meaning. I would think it's compass check. You think so? What word can mean an instrument used to draw circles? Yeah, compass, huh? I trust you, buddy. Oh, boy, that could be trouble. Well, she answered this, You know quick. what? This is fun. It's like watching Two people share a brain, yeah. you know? And we do, believe me. Yeah. I don't think I'd get through life without this guy. Uh, you know, I'm going with you, buddy. I say compass. Okay, we're going with compass. We're going with compass. You're pretty confident about that one. He better be. <laughs> you want to see what your classmates said? Yeah. Sure. They said what word can mean both an instrument used to draw circles and also a device used for determining direction is compass, and they're right. You guys have $5,000. Yeah! Good job. Our twins are going to be playing for $10,000 when we come back. Yes. Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? This is the first on our show. We have identical twins playing as one. Chad and Corey Baumgartner have $5,000. Yeah. 
We're about to play for 10,000 now. I know you guys brought some people here to root for yep, you today. Sure you want to introduce them? We brought our lovely mother, Nancy. Our yeah. Now, Mom, have you ever had trouble telling them apart? No. <laughs> When we were babies, nobody could tell the difference. Yeah, that's true. They were, really? Yeah, they were real identical. Do, 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 I think we have a photo. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh. 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 Look at that. Right, which, which, which is which? I couldn't flip I, a coin, Jeff. I yeah, couldn't yeah, tell yeah. you. Really? I, I yeah. swear to you. Mom, do know. you know which one's which? Corey's on the left in the blue and Chad's in the yellow. That's as, as close to looking identical as I've ever yeah. seen in my life. My sister and I, they couldn't tell us apart, right. but my mustache got thicker than hers. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, we're down to seven subjects on the board. Pick one of them. Let's go second grade animal science. Let's work our way up. Remember animal science? We'll take second grade animal science. Second grade animal science. Let's play for $10,000. Here is the question. Cows exist in herds while ants live in groups called what? Colonies, communities, or clusters? Cows exist in herds while ants live in groups called what? Colonies, communities, or clusters? Right. Alana is locked in. I'm thinking colony. You know what? I'm agreeing with you for the first time. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> so, you know. Now you have both your sheets left. Yeah, I know. We don't agree often, so we gotta go with it. I'm gonna go with colonies. Wow. You guys agreed on this very quickly. You're hugging each other tightly. Oh, you nervous? nervous? You're yeah, feeling I mean, confident. No, you're nervous? I'm a little nervous. Really? Well, you gotta be smart as a fifth grader here. Guess what? You are. You have $10,000. Yeah. Ants do live in colonies. Guys. Oh, man. This next question is a big one. Yeah. yeah. Because if you had flunked out of school up until this point, you would have left us with nothing. Right. You get this question right. The worst thing that can happen today is the two of you walk out of here with $25,000. Come on, Jeff. Okay with that, Jeff. We're all right with that. All right, Alana has got to return to the classroom. Thank you, Alana. Thank you. Time to pick yeah. another classmate. I would think so. We'll take Spencer. Spencer. Come on, Spencer. $25,000, guys. Come on, boys. Pick a subject. Let's win $25,000. Third grade math. Or, or science. Third grade math? Yeah. We'll go with third grade math. Third grade math. Yeah. The $25,000 question is, An isosceles triangle has how many equal sides? An isosceles triangle has how many equal sides? Spencer locked in before I could repeat the question. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, because I'm a little clueless. Uh, I am too, buddy. I would now, do you remember triangles? Oh, I do. Um, I want to say it's three equal sides, but I'm not I would sure. think two equal sides. You want to do a cheat? You want to do a, a peek? Or do you, you know? Yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, you get the cheats for a reason. I mean, yeah. if it can help you, we want to help you. Uh, An isosceles triangle has how many equal sides? Uh, what do you think, Jen? I'd say two. You say two? I mean, you guys can walk away right now with $10,000. No, we need to get to that 25 grand mark. Yeah. Okay, well, do you, do you but if peek? you miss it, then we're. You're leaving with nothing, okay? Right, yeah. Go ahead and peek. You want to go for peek? Yep. You're locked in. Well, if we get this right, right, 25 grand, that's a minimum we leave with, so. So uh, we'll uh, we'll take our peak. You want to take your peak? <laughs> Let's recap. You said two. two. And I said Chad three. said three. Let's see what Spencer said. Spencer said one. So wow. He says one. You say two. You say three. Yeah. What do you think? Well, it says how many equal sides, and that's plural, so I would think it'd be two, and you think it's three, so gosh. What do now, you think? now, here's another option. You could pick one of your answers that 
you're the most comfortable with, and if you're wrong and he's right, he could still save you. Mm -hmm. I still think it's two. Do you? I'll trust you, buddy. I mean, you know, if he did get a ride with one, we're in. But if not, we're taking a long walk home. Yeah, we are. I say we go with two. What do you think? I trust you. Trust me? Yeah, I trust you. Oh, that's trouble. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, we are going to go with two. I'm feeling good about that. I hope so. I mean, there's two not. of you. Yeah. Hey. And you know what? I got to tell you, it's it's amazing that you trust him that much. Yeah, I do. You went against your own instinct. You went against what this kid in elementary school said because you trust him. That's right. I will tell you this. Spencer's wrong. Okay. The rest of them are right. Do you want to see what they said for $25,000? Yeah, we do. They said, two, yeah! you guys have had $25,000. Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Yeah! 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 High five! Thank you. Oh, this is stressful, Jeff. An oh. isosceles triangle has exactly two equal sides. We're going to be playing for $50,000 yeah! when we come back. Our contestants, Chad and Corey Baumgartner, have $25,000. Oh, yeah. We are playing for $50,000. All right, pick another subject. And Corey, here's the deal. It's, this is almost the freebie question, because right now you got $25,000. Even if you miss this, you have $25,000. Right, right. It's a freebie, so no need to walk away from this one. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's go. Third grade life science. Third grade life science. Third grade life science. Chad and Corey, for $50,000, here's the question. Russet and Yukon gold are varieties of what vegetable? Russet and Yukon gold are varieties of what vegetable? Spencer has locked in. I'm potato. Yeah, I'm with you. Are you with me? Oh, I'm with you. Hey! Okay, there you go. Man, you guys didn't even hesitate on no. that. Because usually the higher the money gets, I tell people, slow down, don't answer too quickly. Yep. <laughs> because we got 50,000 taters riding on this one. Oh, boy. A lot of taters. You want to see what Marky wrote? I mean, it doesn't, it, it sure, can't, sure. It can't sure. save you, but it might make you feel better about your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetie, that's beautiful. You spell like Dan Quayle. Yeah. Uh, pato, pato I love, I love those Yukon Gold Pato Edios. <laughs> we do too. Good news is spelling doesn't count. She's right, you're right, yes! you got $50,000. $50,000, guys. Nice work, Spencer. Spencer was right as well. All right. You are down to two classmates and four subjects, gentlemen. I would think Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, right, come on Jacob. up here. Come on, Jacob. Come on, Jacob. All right, Jacob, these guys have four subjects left. Which ones would you pick? Um, probably world geography and fifth grade history. Well. Let's cool. go with uh, geography. world geography. Fourth grade world geography. Yeah. Fourth grade world geography. Yeah. Guys, we're in the big money territory. This is worth $100,000. Yeah. Corey and Chad, here is the $100,000 question. Mount Everest is located in what mountain range? Andes, Alps, Himalayas. Mount Everest is located in what mountain range? Andes, Alps, 
are Himalayas. Jacob has locked in his answer. Oh, I gotta admit, Corey, I don't know, man. A or B, I'm thinking, but I'm thinking Alps, I bet. All right, you have your copy left, which means you can copy his paper, but you have to go with the answer he wrote down. It's a one in three chance. You could guess, and if you're wrong and he's right, he could save you. Or you could walk out of here with $50,000. 25,000 a piece. Oh, buddy. It's oh, a good buddy. day's work. Yeah, you're not kidding. Yeah. We came here to take this whole thing, so. You want to go with B out? I mean, hopefully he has it right. If not, we, we leave here with 25 grand, but. I think it's A or B. You think it's A or B? I think it's B. Do you think? Do you know or do you think? Oh, I think. I don't know, yeah. I'm just looking at the map of Mount Everest in here. It's a. Uh... <laughs> Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah neither do we. And yeah, apparently not. neither do you. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. What are you thinking, guys? Well, I'm thinking Alps. I, I don't know why. I mean, uh, I'm going with you, buddy. You're going with I'm me? I'm riding to the end. Let's yeah, we Alps. are. We're going to choose Alps. is located in what mountain range? Andes, Alps, or Himalayas? You said Alps. You are wrong. Your second guess was A, which is also incorrect. If he rode Himalayas, you've got $100,000. All right. Pizza party on us, Jacob. Let's do it. If he did you have 25. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. For $100,000, Jacob said, Chad and Corey Baumgartner have $100,000. Yeah. You know, this is kind of fun to watch you guys playing as a team. I mean, you don't disagree with each other very much. Well, we've had to share all of our lives, yeah. so we don't have a choice. You okay, know? well, <laughs> we started with 10 subjects. We're down to three. Oh, Love it. Pick one of them. Let's try to win $175,000. Well, what's your what's your best subject out of those three? Out of those three? <sighs> That's how I feel about it. We're exactly. working on a pizza party, so it's either you know. social studies or history. I can't really make up. You know, mind. we're gonna go fourth grade social studies. Fourth grade okay. social studies. <laughs> Everybody seems scared of the fifth grade literature. Yeah, we're almost there. For one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Here is your fourth grade social studies question. According to Article I of the U.S. Constitution, what government official in the executive branch also serves as president of the U.S. Senate? According to Article I of the U.S. Constitution, what government official in the executive branch also serves, he has locked in his answer, as president of the U.S. Senate? What are you thinking? <laughs> Nothing. Not yet. <laughs> I love your honesty. And I'm trying to be. Um, what do you think, buddy? What cheats do we have left? We have. Uh, You've got copy. your copy left. You used your save. Jacob yeah. saved you on the last one. Yes, he, yes did. he did. Oh, Jacob. Yep. Now he locked in quickly. Uh, that's why I was thinking that we could go with copy and we could be rolling to $175,000. I'd like to see you guys win $175,000. You know, uh, we're gamblers by nature. I think we're going to go with copy. We're going to go with copy. Oh, boy. If you had to guess, 
If you had to guess, what would you guess? I would let Chad guess, because I have not a clue. Can you name any political office? <laughs> well, first of all, let's break it down. Do you know what the executive branch is? No, that's why we're relying on the pizza party with Jacob. That's <laughs> right, so I don't know. No clue? Not no clue. Mom, do you have a clue? The vice president? You think vice president? That's what I think, I don't know. <laughs> Once again, Mama's right. I love you, Mom. Unfortunately, you knowing the answer doesn't do them any good. The only person that matters in the room right now is this 10 year old kid. Oh. Come on, Jacob. Please, Jacob. Let's see what his classmates wrote down. According to Article I of the U.S. Constitution, what government official in the executive branch also serves as president of the U.S. Senate? The class said, Vice President, President, Vice President, Vice President. You know, we live in a country where the majority rules. Same with this class, the majority is right. It is vice president. Let's hope Jacob's right. You gamblers. You are gamblers. Oh, yeah. You two full grown men that risk $100,000 on what a 10 year old kid said. Yeah. yeah. We trust him. For $175,000, look at this board. Jacob said, Vice yeah. President! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh, give me one oh. oh. He has just won you 100,000 and 175,000. Great work, Jacob. Hey. Unfortunately, he's got to return to the classroom. Job, High five. Guys. Guys, you've used all your cheats so the kids can't help you anymore. Two subjects left. I have an idea which one you're going to take. Do you? We're Everyone's gonna... scared of literature, but you know, I, I think we are too, so let's go fifth grade history. Yeah, we knew you were going to say fifth grade history. <laughs> Will identical twins Chad and Corey Baumgartner go all the way to a million dollars? Find out when we come back. We are breaking all the rules tonight. We have identical twins playing as one. We're letting them cheat off each other. But before we go any further, Chad and Corey, yes, sir. we have two girls that want to wish you good luck. Okay. Come on out, Mary Kate and Ashley. Come on out here. Are you serious? I was ready for them. Guys, you ready to see the $300,000 question? Yes, we are. I was ready to see the Olsen twins, yeah. but we'll go for it. This is real money. Yes, sure sir. For $300,000, the fifth grade history question is, what former U.S. president was the first American to win the Nobel Peace Prize? What former U.S. president was the first American to win the Nobel Peace Prize. We got another political question, guys. Yeah, and those are the classes we ditched, so that's a problem. Do not hit this no. button. Get your hand away. Uh, let's stand back. Yeah. Let's talk this out. Yeah, let's, let's do. Let me tell you about your cheats. They're gone. Great. Right. No, what do you think? You've got $175,000 that you can walk out of here with right now. If you don't know it, I'm not ashamed to admit they're smarter than us, Chad. I yeah. know it doesn't divide as easily as 300. Right. right. But we can get a calculator and okay. do the math. Okay. We trust you, Jeff. Good. Um, what are you thinking? 
Well, to be honest with you, Jeff, I don't think either one of us know it. And uh, I think we might take the money and run. You think you want to drop yeah. out of school? I think we might want to. If you want to drop out of school, if you guys are sure that's what you want to do, you can lock in that answer. We have no cheats left. If you answer incorrectly, you drop back down to $25,000. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think we should probably drop out of school. You think so? Yeah, I think we should drop out. I don't know this one. And uh, I think we should leave. That's a lot of money. I think you're right. All right, let's go ahead. Let's drop out. OK, guys, you want to lock that in? <sighs> yeah, let's lock it in. Yeah. I was born first. I'll be there. Drop it out of school. High five, buddy. Come on. That is a lot of money. That is. No idea. Not even the foggiest idea. Right. Does Franklin Roosevelt make you feel any better? Uh, no. Not much. No. Yeah. No. Good, because that's not the right answer. Yeah. It was actually Theodore Roosevelt uh -huh. was the first yeah. U.S. president to win the Nobel Peace Prize in 1906. It ain't a million. $75,000. But remember the little deal we had up front? There's the camera. We're identical twins. We have to cheat off each other, and we're still not as smart as a fifth grader. We'll be right back right after this. Classmate. She is a 31-year-old waitress from Indianapolis, Indiana, and she attended Lakeside Elementary. Welcome, Jennifer Luckett. Hello, Jennifer. Welcome to our classroom. Thank you. And I'm guessing this is a picture of you at Lakeside. Yes, that is. Very cute. A lot of time on the that's, curling iron back yeah, then. Yeah, that's the worst one. Well, welcome to our class. These are your classmates, so pick one of them and let's get started. All right. I'm going to pick... Marky, come on up here, Marky. Hello, Marky. Jennifer, at any time, if the test proves too difficult, you may drop out of our class. You can take the money you've earned and you can run, but before you leave, you and I have to have a little deal. You'll look into the camera and tell the entire world, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I hope I don't have to say that. Okay, I hope you don't either. I hope you win. <laughs> One million dollars. Let's find out. Is Jennifer Luckett smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> All right, Jennifer, pick your first subject. Okay. Marky, what's your strong subject? Either grammar or measurement. I'm going to go with uh, third grade grammar. Third grade grammar. Our $1,000 question is, The sentence, Alana always ate anchovies, is an example of which of the following? Alliteration, future tense, or compound sentence? The sentence, Alana always ate anchovies, is an example of which of the following? Alliteration, future tense, or compound sentence? Your classmate, Marky, just locked in her answer. What are you thinking? All right. Well, uh, Alana always ate. Eight is past tense, so that's not future tense. Um, a compound sentence is uh, two sentences in one. OK. Um, alliteration. I don't remember alliteration, um, but it's uh, I, future tense. It's not future tense. It's not a compound sentence. So it has to be, has to be alliteration. You want to lock in I'm that a, answer? I'm going to lock in. Please be alliteration. <laughs> it is alliteration. You got a thousand bucks.
pick another subject and let's go to 2000. All right. Let's go with uh, second grade measurement. Second grade measurement. Jennifer, the $2,000 question is, if Jacob stands on Spencer's shoulders, they are two and a half yards high. How many feet is that? If Jacob stands on Spencer's shoulder, they are two and a half yards high. How many feet is that? Okay. Do you want me to have Jacob and Spencer do this? I yes, mean, that'll help. Please. Marky has locked in her answer. What are you thinking, Jennifer? Well, I'm thinking uh, I want to just say the length of a football field and be done with it. <laughs> That's some tall boys. Um, well, it's like 5,289 feet in a yard or something like that. I could be way off. Um, two and a half yards. And I, I took a chemistry class too, and that was one of the. So my you learned tutor, this in chemistry class. Yeah, my tutor is gonna kill me now. Where did you go to school? TCC <laughs> in Texas, TCC. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Sounds like you were homeschooled and you were there by yourself. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm gonna lock in a peak. I'm gonna lock in a peak. <laughs> okay. You want a peak? If Jacob stands on Spencer's shoulders, they are two and a half yards high. How many feet is that? Your classmate Marky said 78. There's 352 feet in a yard. So what do you think? Um, you can go with Marky's answer, you can go with your answer. I'm going with your answer. You wanna lock that in? decided to go with her answer, which was 78. 78. The basic question here really is how many feet are in, are in two and a half yards? Right. How many feet are in one yard seems to be the big stumbling block. It is. Does three ring any kind of a bell? Yeah. Three feet, you, yeah. you had 352, which is close to the days in a year. And you had 52, which were weeks in a year. And I know it's a chemistry problem. <laughs> two and a half yards, if there's three feet in a yard, two yards is six feet, half a yard is one and a half feet, which makes seven and a half feet. I am sorry, Jennifer, seven and a half is the correct answer. And you're leaving here with nothing. And I want everybody to win a million dollars, but I gotta tell you, that was the most entertaining zero <laughs> we have ever had. Will you do me a favor? Will you look in the camera and tell the world? My name is Jennifer, and I learned something. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. a chance
chance to win one million dollars. All they have to do is prove that they are smarter than a fifth grader. It's that easy. All right, let's meet our class. Marky, Kyle, Jacob, Alana, and Spencer. All right, class, you ready to meet our new student? Yeah. He is a 25-year-old youth pastor who attended Van Dillen Elementary in Denver, Colorado. Please welcome Ben Vine. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Ben, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm great, good. Yeah. I guess this is growing up in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> Baseball in the snow. Baseball in the snow. So it says here ball. that you are a youth pastor. Yes, I am. Very cool, yes. right? <laughs> you know, you cannot bring your boss into the game today, all right? <laughs> I can't help no it. No cheating, and I love this. <laughs> on, 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 on his card, it says his most embarrassing school memory was he threw up on his friend Jeremy in choir class. <laughs> yeah, sure did. I decided to start singing, and instead of notes coming out of my mouth, I ended up throwing up all over his legs. Oh, um, wow. he, was, he, he was my friend then. He was your friend. Well, here he is. No, no I'm not kidding. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, these are your classmates. They're going to be taking the same test that you're taking. And during the course of the test, we're actually going to let you cheat off of them. I'll explain that a little bit later. But pick one of them, and let's get started, Ben. Jacob. Jacob. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ben, let me tell you how the game works. On the board, you're going to see 10 subjects. They range from first grade through the fifth grade. You can pick them in any order that you would like. Your first correct answer is worth $1,000. The 10th question, should you answer it correctly, is worth $500,000. All right. Once you get through these 10 questions, Ben, we will give you an 11th question. It is a grade school question. It will be worth $1 million. You like it. I like it a lot. All right, but if any point the test gets to be too difficult, yes. you can drop out of our little class, okay? All right. <laughs> you can drop out of school, you can take the money you've earned, you can run, but before you leave, you gotta make me a promise, you'll look into the camera and tell the entire world, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I will, I will do that. We got a deal? Got it. All right, let's find out, is Ben Bice smarter than a fifth grader? All right, Ben, there's 10 subjects. Select one of them. Um, let's start with first grade grammar. Yeah. First grade grammar. All right, Ben. <laughs> For $1,000, here's the question. What is the abbreviation in the following sentence? The class voted for Mr. Foxworthy as Teacher of the Year. What is the abbreviation in the following sentence? The class voted for Mr. Foxworthy as Teacher of the Year. Jacob has locked in his answer. What are you thinking here, Ben? You know what, I think I know the answer. I don't you think do? I have to use a cheat, which would be nice. Um, I'm gonna head, go ahead and go with um, Mr. as the abbreviation. Locking that in. You're right, you got a thousand dollars, Ben. <laughs> Pick another subject, let's turn it into two thousand dollars. First grade U.S. geography. First grade U.S. geography. Ben, here is the two thousand dollar question. Alana went on a trip to see Everglades National Park. What state did she go to? Alana went on a trip to see Everglades National Park. What state did she go to? Jacob has locked in. I told you earlier that your classmates could help you. Let mm -hmm. me tell you real quick okay. how they can do that. You have two cheats. All right. Once during the game, you can peek off your classmates' paper. You have a copy and you have a save. All right, Pastor Ben, what are you thinking? 
I've, I, I have a very good idea of where, where this is. Um, I think it's in Florida. You think? I, I'm almost positive. You know what? I'm going to go Florida. Florida, locking it in. You got two thousand dollars, Pastor. You got it. Oh. <laughs> there it is, right there, Everglades National Park at the tip end of Florida. Nice work, Jacob. Unfortunately, you have to return to the classroom. Time to pick another classmate, Thanks, Pastor. Buddy. All right, Pastor Ben, besides the big man upstairs, who do you have rooting for you today? I know you brought some people with you. <laughs> That's my family over there. They're uh, <laughs> not by birth. But um, that's my church family there. Those are a few of the kids. That's my wife in the blue, Carly. Uh, that's a beautiful family. It is. It's a great family. I want to come visit your church. All right, More pick your welcome. next subject, and let's play for $5,000, Ben. What do you think, buddy? I think we should do either astronomy or animal science. We'll go with second grade astronomy. I'm going with you, Kyle. You had a 1350 on your SATs and you're getting help to pick a subject here. I know, it's scary. I know. <laughs> here we go. For $5,000, Ben, your second great astronomy question is, true or false, the planet Jupiter has a larger mass than Earth? True or false, the planet Jupiter has a larger mass than Earth? Wow. Kyle just locked in with authority. Wow. I do know that Jupiter is the, the largest planet. Um, I believe mass is weight. So I think it would be a larger mass than the Earth. I'm just going to go ahead and say it's true. The question, true or false, the planet Jupiter has a larger mass than Earth. You said true. Your classmate Kyle said true, which means he can't save you, Ben. Thankfully, he doesn't have to, because you're right. You got five thousand Ben, let's turn it into 10,000. Pick another subject. Second grade world geography. Second grade world geography. I know you did. You got it. The ten thousand dollar question is coming up when we come back. <laughs> Contestant Ben Buys has $5,000. We are about to play for $10,000. You selected second grade world geography. Oh boy. Pastor Ben, here <laughs> is the $10,000 question What city is the capital of Japan? What city is the capital of Japan? Your classmate, Kyle, has locked in his answer. Yeah. You look like you're in prayer right now. <laughs> I always used to look at the ceiling thinking maybe, <laughs> maybe somebody had written it up there. Yeah. I, Who I, do people tell you you look like, Ben? Well, people were saying I look like Kevin Federline to them. <laughs> okay, Fed. Apparently, I, I don't think I do, but. We'll call you Pray Fed. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. You be Pray Fed. <laughs> so to me, some of these questions, you can kind of figure them out, and some of them either you know it or you yeah, don't. Yeah, I think I know it. Do you? I think it's Tokyo. Um, 
and Kyle is extremely smart. So I'm just, I'm kind of just, I feel good about the saves right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and say Tokyo. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Nokio. <laughs> you thought it was Tokyo. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Let's see what Kyle said. Kyle said. Tokyo. <laughs> That's right. I think it's a little misspelled, but oh well. <laughs> That's okay, Kyle. It's not a spelling question. Ben, you got ten thousand. <laughs> capital of Japan. Nice work, Kyle. Nice job, Kyle. Thank you, Bowie. You did great. You're about to play for 25,000. You need to pick another classmate. A lot of. A lot of. Come on up. Yeah, All right, Alana. Pastor Ben's got six subjects left. Which two do you feel most qualified to help him with? Animal science and earth science. She likes animal science and earth science. Wow. All right, Ben, what do you think? Animal science. You got it. Third grade you animal got science. For $25,000, here is the question. True or false, the orca is a type of dolphin. True or false, Ben, the orca is a type of dolphin. Your classmate Alana has locked in. Um, an orca is a killer whale. That's not a dolphin, I don't think. I think it's a killer whale. So I think it's false, and I'm gonna go with false. <laughs> you said that it's orca, the killer whale. Actually, Ben, you're wrong. An orca is a type of dolphin. The killer whale is actually a dolphin. I know, Ben, in the truest sense of the word, that you're saved. But right now, in this classroom, <laughs> you're going home with an empty wallet unless this 10-year-old girl can Nine. save you. Nine-year-old girl, I apologize. <laughs> you ready to see what she wrote down? I guess so. Ben, Ben. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. <laughs> I really don't want you to go home yet. I don't either. Let's see what Alana said. For $25,000, did she say true? True! Yes! yes! <laughs> you <kidding> me? <laughs> oh! 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 Wow. Wow. Nice job, sweetie. You did all. Awesome. You got $25,000. Pick another subject, Ben. World history it is. All right, Ben. Here is the $50,000 question. According to the ancient Roman calendar, the Ides of March falls on which day in March? According to the ancient Roman calendar, the Ides of March falls on which day in March? Alana has locked in her answer. I, for one, am very glad they give me the answers. <laughs> I have no idea. You still have um, your copy and your peak. So looking at her paper is not going to help me at all. I would just have to copy it. 
You know what? She saved me once. I'm gonna go ahead and copy her paper. Let her save me again. <laughs> the question is, according to the ancient Roman calendar, the Ides of March falls on which day in March? I will tell you right now that the answer to the question is March 15th. Okay. Alana's answer is coming up when we come back. <laughs> Our contestant, Ben Buys, has $25,000. We are playing for $50,000. The question was, according to the ancient Roman calendar, the Ides of March falls on which day in March? You had no idea, so you chose to copy off Alana. I told you that the correct answer is what? March 15th. March 15th. For $50,000, Take a look at the board. Let's see what Alana wrote. March 15th! You are great! You are so awesome! <laughs> wow. 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 Nice work, Alana. You got $50,000, what, what, what are you gonna do with the money? <laughs> well, you know, being that I'm in ministry, we have not a lot of community programs, so a lot we can do in the community with the money. That's awesome, man, that's good for you. Let's go for 100,000, pick another classmate. Spencer, come on. Spencer, come on up. Hello, buddy. <laughs> We got four subjects left. If you had to pick your best two, which ones would you say it is, Spencer? Well, I hate to do this to him, but um, both fifth grade questions. Both fifth grade questions. <laughs> what you thinking, Ben? Seeing that she bailed me out twice, I'm gonna listen to the kid. I'm gonna go with fifth grade earth science. I like the fact you're not even embarrassed. You're like, they bailed me out before. This is where I'm going now. Yeah, it sure is. You've got $50,000. let us take a look at the $100,000 question. Here it is, Ben. By definition, uh, <laughs> by definition, an anemometer measures the speed of what? By definition, an anemometer measures the speed of what? Hmm. And it's not the speed of I, how fast you want your mommy when you read the question. <laughs> Spencer has locked in his answer. What, what are you thinking, Ben? You know, the kids are so smart. I really like them because I, and anim, I don't Anemometer. Even know. I mean, if if we're gonna try to break it down to a root, uh, a, a Nemo, a fish. Um, <laughs> the the only other word I can even think of that's even close to it is anomaly, and that's something out of the ordinary like getting this right. Uh, this would be an anomaly if I got this question right. You do have a peak left. I do have a peak. You've got a peak, but once you, once you choose yeah, yeah, to I gotta, look at it, you got to answer the question. I'm going to peak. He wants to peak. The question is, by definition, an anemometer measures the speed of what? Your classmate Spencer answered, wind.
Was that one of the possibilities? I didn't even have a possibility, so I guess it is now. <laughs> you just had wind blowing around in your head then. Wind. <laughs> Got some more kids here. You work with kids, right? Uh, yeah, I do. Love kids. You like, like them a lot, yeah. No, love. I love them, yes. <laughs> I do. You love that little dude over there? I believe so. You ought to, because he's right. You got a hundred yeah! thousand. I don't know what youth pastors get paid these days. $100,000 is a pretty good day at work. Yes. Yes. Give me the good news and the bad news. The good news, good news. is right now you've got $100,000. The bad news is you have used both your cheats and your save, and so your classmates can no longer help you, okay? It's just you. It's just me. Me and the good Lord. You and the good Lord. This question is worth $175,000. Pick a subject. Then. U.S. history. U.S. history. Fifth grade. U.S. history. I don't know why I just did that. Is, is history not a good subject for you? I can't remember dates to save my life, to be honest. <laughs> Let's, Let's look at the it. question. Let's do it. Let's look at the question. For $175,000, Ben, who immediately followed Abraham Lincoln as President of the United States? Who immediately followed Abraham Lincoln as President of the United States? I think I know this. I, th I think, I really think I know this. Um, because I think, what are you thinking? Tell I, me what you're thinking. I think it's Andrew Johnson, because obviously Abraham Lincoln was shot and killed, and he took over office when, when he went out. I think it's Andrew Johnson. And, wow. To go from 100000 to $25,000 yeah. on, on a think. What the heck, Andrew Johnson? Wow. Carly, how yeah. you feeling? You I'm like that little, answer? I'm a little nervous right now. A little nervous. Okay, because here's the dilemma. If you're wrong, you yeah. drop down from 100000 to 25000 Yeah, uh, sure You do. give $75,000 back. Boy. If you're right, you go 75000 the other way. You had faith that you knew the right answer here. I did. I still have faith I knew the right answer. Good, because you're right. You got $175,000. Ben, we have two questions left. Listen carefully. You've got $175,000. The next question is worth $300,000, Ben. You've got fourth grade cultural studies and fourth grade measurements. Pick your poison. Measurements. Fourth grade measurements. The $300,000 question is going to be revealed when we come back. Our contestant, Ben Buys, a youth pastor, has $175,000. He has played for $300,000. Pastor Ben, you selected fourth grade measurements. You ready to see the question? For $300,000, here's the question, Ben. 
On a map, if one inch equals 20 miles, how many inches is 180 miles? On a map, if one inch equals 20 miles, how many inches is 180 miles? Pastor Ben, you good with maps? I've looked at a couple. You give my wife a map, it's like watching a monkey do a math problem. <laughs> I love her to death. <laughs> this one's a little map and a little math. It is a little bit of both, isn't it? Oh, God. How are you at math? I'm pretty good at math. One inch equals... Talk it out. What, what are you thinking? Well, if one inch equals 20 miles, you would have to divide 180 by 20. That's nine. Yeah, nine times 20 is 180. <laughs> this is a lot of money to have math in my head. Um. <laughs> and Ben, you can walk away. You, you can walk out of here with $175,000. I know, but I came here to win a million, so. Um. Nine inches. You didn't even wait for me to finish the sentence. <laughs> Ben, everybody that comes here comes here to win a million dollars. And they get greedy. You didn't let me finish the sentence. But I was gonna give you a little subtle piece of advice. And before I could say it, you hit the button. Hit the button. Ben, all right, let's do the math. You ready? One inch equals 20 miles. How many inches is 180 miles? 180 divided by 20 is what, Ben? Nine. You're right! Yeah! We have not yet had a millionaire on this show. You are two questions yeah. away from that. Yeah. Ben, it costs you nothing to see the question. Yeah, I would love to see it. Let's look at it and let's use a little discernment before let's we answer. It. Let's do it. <laughs> the subject is fourth grade cultural studies. <laughs> The $500,000 question is coming up when we come back. <laughs> Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Youth Pastor Ben Buys has $300,000. Ben. Fourth grade cultural studies represents the $500,000 question. You ready to see it? Uh, yeah. Here is the half a million dollar question, Ben. Who was the Greek god of wine? For $500,000, who was the Greek god of wine? I don't know if your congregation would be proud if you know the answer to this or not. Uh, you got quiet. Sure did. Um, Was Greek mythology a good subject for you? <laughs> yeah, I think there's two different kinds of mythology, right? Greek and Roman or something. I don't know 
really the difference. Wine. Is there a goddess or god that sounds like wine? Oh boy. Pagans, all of them. Right? <laughs> You've got three hundred thousand dollars, Pen. You could walk away right now with three hundred thousand dollars. You've got that right now. That's a lot of money. You said you don't know the answer to this. You could guess. <laughs> but if you're wrong, you're going to give back two hundred and seventy-five thousand oh dollars. Oh boy. The Greek god of wine is probably something I have no idea, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop out of school. <laughs> you got a standing ovation by dropping out of school, bro. <laughs> How about, wait, is it Dionysus? What, what did you just say? I, I, if I had to guess, it would have been Dionysus. You would have had a half a million dollars, man. <laughs> but, Ben, you're walking out of here with almost a third of a million. <laughs> An awesome day. Remember our little deal at the top? I don't think you're going to have a problem saying this, are you? No. There's the camera. I'm. Pastor Ben and I am not smarter than a fifth grader. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs> yeah, but you got 300 grand. Yeah, but <laughs> Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? <laughs> Let's meet our new student. He is a 25 year old salesman who attended South Bay Elementary in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Welcome, Andy Gallo. Great hair in I elementary did, didn't I? school. I did. I look smooth, man. <laughs> you still look smooth. Welcome to the show, man. Do you have a strategy for the game? Um, you know, probably math. I'm really good at math, you know. Oh, wow. So, okay. um, you know, I'll probably go for those questions first, you know. Well, let's pick your first classmate. Let's get started. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go with Spencer. 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 What's up, buddy? <laughs> Now, if any point our test gets to be too difficult, you can take the money you've earned and you can leave. Okay. But before you leave us, you got to look into that camera and tell millions and millions of people, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. We got a deal? We got a deal. All absolutely, right. absolutely. Let's find out, is Andy Gallo smarter than a fifth grader? All right, Andy. Let's pick a subject and get started. All right, um, I think I'm gonna go with first grade health. First grade health. Mm -hmm. Andy, here is the $1,000 question. True or false, the esophagus is a passageway that connects the mouth to the nose. True or false, the esophagus is a passageway that connects the mouth to the nose. Your classmate Spencer has locked in his answer. True or false, the esophagus is a passageway that connects the mouth to the nose. What are you thinking, Andy? Well, I'm thinking, you know, um, I know the pharynx is, is like your throat here, and um, it's just been so long since, since I've, I've seen that word. But I believe it is. I'm pretty sure that the esophagus is the, the passageway that connects the mouth to the nose. Um, Okay, it says here on your on your card you were actually a pre-med yeah, student, I was, right? Yeah. <laughs> With a 3.2 GPA. <laughs> it's always a you know, all right, all right. Um, I'm gonna go with true. The esophagus is a passageway that connects the mouth to the nose. <laughs> You were a pre-med student. Yeah, yeah. Did you, did you go to any of the pre-med classes while you were there? <laughs> yeah, I did, I did. Andy, 
You said true. Andy. You're wrong. Oh. It's a first grade question. Andy. Oh. The only way we move on is if your classmate Spencer is right. And Andy, I am so thankful you're not my doctor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. The correct answer is false. For $1,000, oh. may we see what Spencer said. The stomach. stomach, right, right. Oh my God! You just Woo. got saved by Doogie yeah. Howser over yeah. here. <laughs> right. But you got a thousand dollars. Okay, all right. You got Excellent. the jitters Excellent. out of the way. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Pick another subject, Andy. Let's turn okay. it into two thousand. Um, I'll go with second grade earth science. Second grade earth science. <laughs> the two thousand dollar question is. A man-made lake created for the purpose of storing water is called what? A channel, a reservoir, or an isthmus? <laughs> a man-made lake created for the purpose of storing water is called what? A channel, a reservoir, or an isthmus? And all I want for isthmus is my two front teeth. <laughs> hey, here's the good news. It's not a medical right. question. <laughs> Classmate Spencer has locked in his answer. What you thinking, Andy? I'm thinking it's a reservoir. I'm pretty positive that it is a reservoir. But, you know, again, now I'm all shaky just because of the, the last question, you know? Um, <laughs> but I'm pretty, pretty positive it's reservoir. But I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to actually uh, peek. I'm going to go ahead and peek uh, Spencer's. You wanted to pick. The question is, a man-made lake created for the purpose of storing water is called what? Spencer said. A reservoir. So, yeah, that was my hunch. I'm going to go with reservoir. Spencer's two for two. You got $2,000. Excellent. All right, all right. <laughs> nice work, Spencer. <laughs> Thanks a lot for saving me, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, Andy, you got to pick another class, man. Okay, mate. I'm going to go with Jacob. Jacob, Jacob come yeah, on up here, up, buddy. buddy. How's it going, man? Andy, let's turn 2,000 into 5,000. Pick another subject. Um, Jacob, what's your, what's your strong subject? Okay, I'm good. U.S. history. Uh, history, any type of history, any type of geography. Pretty much the math, whole board. Math? Yeah. Okay, I'll go with fourth grade math. Fourth, fourth grade, grade math. math. Yeah. The five thousand dollar question is: What is the product of two thirds and forty eight? What is the product of two thirds and forty eight? Jacob has locked in his answer. The question is, what is the product of two-thirds and 48? Anything come to mind on this? Yeah, so the product is multiplying. So um, what you want, what, what, I mean, what I'm guessing is uh, it's going to be two over three times 48 over one. So two times 48 is 96. And then 96 divided by three is 32, I believe. I want to lock in with that. 32 is the product of 2 thirds and 48. Andy, I'm going to give you extra credit for showing your work. <laughs> and I'm giving you $5,000 <laughs> because you're right. Yeah. The product of 2 thirds and 48 is 32. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, Andy. All right, okay. You got $5,000. We're going to be playing for $10,000 next time. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs>